how's it going? It's Ricky with Tech Club Solutions. So just another recap for today's trading. So today the team and I traded multiple stocks. I'm um, just going to do a little recap on the two main stocks that I focused on, which was DGAS and ATEC, um, which led me to make $357 profit today. Um, but just going back to the team, so again, this is Tech Club Solutions. It's a networking group you can join it via Facebook, and then you can email me, which is going to be provided for you down in the description um, of this video. You can email me, ask for the welcome document, and that will allow you to have access uh, to the scrutiny application where we communicate with one another um, actively throughout the day uh, when it comes to trading and throughout the week altogether when it comes to you know just alerts best practices um, altogether we sit with all three platforms or all four platforms that we do share a little bit over 1100 members worldwide again from all different experience levels as well as different like age groups as well um, so it's a very welcome environment you know always here to motivate new traders and effort to you know lead to their success so going going back into it said good morning like everyone else did um, woke up a little late and just hopped right into it so uh, I did my analysis on DGAS which is one that I was you know constantly talking about last week uh, so I'm gonna go into just let the team know that um, I let the team know that they're uh, waiting for the break above 167 uh, setting stop loss around 369 and I'm gonna get, um, walk you guys through on today's trade um, so when it came to trading DGAS uh, I, I sent out the alert right um, so these gray boxes, these graded shared, uh, shaded areas are aftermarket hours, um, and these white areas are you know, current market hours. So this is a five day analysis. This is um, the brokerage company uh, that I used to do my technical analysis, so it's Fidelity as you can see up here. Um, really when it comes down to this, I saw that there was a safety. So these lines, I call these safeties, I call these resistance levels. Um, so safeties are good buy points, resistance levels are good sell points. You definitely do not want to buy at these points unless it's breaking above that. So. Um, pretty much what it comes down to is I saw that there is a safety right around 161 and that's what I, when I let the team know I set um, as the price was coming down so as of you know today I'm gonna get a little bit closer and change the frequency level and change it to five minutes kind of um, to get a better understanding so I knew there was a safety just based on me doing the 10 day to 5 day analysis um, around 161 so when it came you know coming down it touched 161 and then it pumped up right it came to 161 and then it you know I still didn't sell when it was at 167 I left it at, now that there's a resistance at 367 and then it came bleeding back down it went below again I had an order to stop loss meaning that anything below it would be 3.609 um, it would cut my losses so I cut my losses at again one tenth of a cent um, took the loss there and then I jumped back in as it went down to 159 I bought back in at 360 and was able to ride it all the way. I hit hit a resistance, which I was well, uh, just well aware of um, around the 380 area. Um, thought it was gonna hit 385. That's where I, I removed my stop loss, set my limit order to uh, 385, never got filled, started coming back down. Um, a couple people started locking in the profits, and then I just followed the same, we're doing the same thing. Locked in my profits at 377, and kind of walked away with that. So with this trade alone, I believe I locked in $224, Again, with the simple analysis that I kind of discovered when it comes to, you know, discovering the safety nets, discovering the resistance levels as, you know, good sell points, good buy points, and have a whole plan. So my plan initially was, yes, I knew that based on the analysis. So it bounced here once already at 161 and hit at least above 380. So I knew that was possible. It did it a second time. It hit 361 and then popped up to, you know, resistance at 380. So I knew it was possible. Came back down. And again, just set myself up for success. For success, I knew a good buy point was around the 350, you know, 9, 360, one area. So that's why I bought in there. I had a plan to cut my losses if it went below anything below, um, you know, 360, 359, to cut my losses as soon as possible because you know if it does go below this point, it's most likely going to continue bleeding down. So I cut my losses short, and I knew where the resistance level was. So I knew that a good sell point was essentially around 375 and 380. And when it comes to the group, I actually told them that exactly. Um, so trying to set around 375, 380, and trying to set up a whole game plan when it comes to buying these stocks. So you can see that when I took this screenshot, um, DGAS was still just bouncing from 161, and this was on the first bounce. Meaning that, you know, when it bounced the first time right here, um, that's when it didn't go very high. So that's when it bounced, it didn't go very high right here, and then came back down because uh, it set the resistance at 367. Uh, I came back down, my stop loss you know, was triggered, bought back in, 
um, and then I locked in my profit at 377 next time you know um, I don't have to kind of just be too greedy and, and wait for the 385 um, I should have just locked in the profit at 380 but again I just lost three cents and so not a horrible um, you know loss when it comes to uh, talking about the amount of profit that I did bring in today so I brought in $24 with that trade alone um, and then my second trade for the day was ATAC I've been trading ATAC for quite a while um, just like I always do, I let the team know what I was trading. A couple of uh, people were trading, you know, NUGT, we're doing very well, um, ENPH. We did a couple analysis on NUGT, but personally um, didn't like the, just the trend whatsoever. It actually ended up doing pretty well. I brought in about 5% of profit um, from the from the bounce. It did around 1010, 10, I believe. Uh, bounce all the way up to like, you know, 1060 after hours. So that was pretty good. Um, let me just show you guys real quick. So, so right here, I said that I was filled on ATEC at 318 again, and my whole plan um, was again just like I've I've said before. When it comes to trading ATEC, let me change the frequency so you guys can see this. So this one has very low volume, and um, let me change it to one minute just so you guys can see. So based based on what I was able to discover, um, I see that the low points, so the safety, you know, as in good buy points. Um, is around 318. It tends to bounce very well. Just in this, you know, five-day analysis, it tends to bounce very well around 318, and has a nice resistance around 335. So that's a good sell point. And again, you don't want to buy at these points. You want to sell. Therefore, you want to buy at these low points and being able to discover or identify these points are, you know, vital when it comes to trading. So now I can set up a whole plan. I set my alert when it went below 320. My alert was triggered. Um, but putting my limit order to get filled around I think it was around like 319 when it first triggered put in my limit at 318.01 I got filled at 318.01 and then picked back up hit above you know 330 and I was waiting to sell around 332 um, Dylan did a really good job you know huge shout out to him Dylan did a really good job buying in at 322 and then sold at 331 so locked in his profits I'm guessing he did his own analysis when he came to trading he understood where the resistance level was you know there was a resistance in the center on 330 um, another resistance around 335 so it really depends on you know how, how not how greedy but you know where you want to set your sell points at to be safe again 330 would have been the just the right point to sell but it does tend to break around 330 quite often from that initial bounce so i was like you know what the heck let me just wait to see if i can you know uh just lock in or squeeze in a little bit more profit so um i put my limit at 332 told the team i congratulated him you know on this trade um he said he sold i was like setting you know 332 and a stop loss of 330 just in case it continues to drop and then you know it popped up hit highs of 334 and I was able to lock in, um, you know, my profit made $133, um, 357 total today with, with the two stocks that I traded. And then went back down, a couple of people, you know, just doing their own thing when it comes to trading, uh, did a couple, or just responded to a couple of people, but that's a, that's a great thing that I like about this group. The majority of these stocks were actually, you know, brought to my attention because of this group and because of all the different members uh, that put in, in a sense, their own two cents when it comes to um, sharing their best practices and potential stocks that you know they find to have potential they share it they ask me what I think about it I kind of do a little analysis like I am doing right now um, and then I create a whole plan I create a plan on you know where I'm gonna buy where I'm gonna sell does it make sense as in like you know based on the trends in history do they tend to bounce pretty well at those areas and do they tend to you know sell pretty well at those points as well uh, so again having a plan is vital when it comes to trading um, and you know having a nice you know platform like fidelity uh, showing you aftermarket hours and weather resistance levels um, stand within that area as well um, are very helpful as well so thank you guys again so much for tuning in um, i had a lot of fun trading so if you guys found this video somewhat helpful we would really appreciate it if you guys can give it a thumbs up as well as if you guys would like to you know stay up to date on all the recaps uh, we do upload daily recap videos on our trades as well as if you guys are into cars and you know things i do upload um, a couple car videos of the different cars that I own and stuff like that. So if you guys would like to be a part of that, click the subscribe button and, you know, I'd love to be a part of your success. So I'm going to provide you with the link uh, to join our group, TechFit Solutions, that is going to be provided for you down below. So um, if you guys would like to surround yourself with, you know, like-minded individuals, feel free to join. Uh, it doesn't hurt you. It's, it's a free group. And then reach out to me with the email that's also provided for you down below. 
um, where you can ask for the welcome doc and I can accept you. And then you can join this group chat, which is very helpful and, you know, very active together. So thank you guys again so much for watching. I hope you guys have a good night and let's make sure that we end the week on a green note. Take care, guys. Thank you.